and it's marathon weekend for the first time in two years. Thousands will be running or walking through Pittsburgh and festivities get underway in about a half hour. And we have team coverage this morning. Felicia Woody is standing by with more on the races. But first, Bryant Reed has more on the road closures you need to be aware of and the effort to keep everyone safe. Good morning, Bryant. And good morning to you too, Brianna. As you as you mentioned earlier, there's going to be thousands of runners participating this weekend, so you can only imagine the number of road closures and detours that are going to be taking place. This morning, you can see crews have already been setting up, marking detour routes and uh, putting together the final pieces of this finish line. So we're going to start here on the Boulevard of the Allies because this road will be closed between Wood and Stanwyck streets that will remain closed through Sunday's final race. Today, there will be additional road closures both downtown and on the North Shore for the 5K and Kids Marathon. But Sunday will bring the largest number of road closures affecting multiple neighborhoods, including the North Side, West End, South Side, East End, and right here downtown as early as 1.30 a.m. Meanwhile, Pittsburgh police are amping up security. They'll be keeping an eye out for any concerns while runners are on the roads. They suggest if you're going anywhere in the city on Sunday, that you should plan two hours ahead of time. Now, overall, more than 30,000 runners are going to be putting foot to pavement uh, this weekend, and not to mention the thousands more of other fans who will be here to cheer them on. So, of course, for a closer look at those road detours and closures, you'll want to head over to KDKA.com because we have the full map for you right there online. Reporting this morning, I'm Brian Reed, KDKA News.